Hey boys and girls, I'm starting part two of my house inspired by Ed Emberly, the author, illustrator, and um, illustrator of how to draw books for kids, which are awesome if you can get your hands on them. And this basically is inspired by, um, I think he has a book just like maybe t titled Halloween, and there's fabulous things to draw on it. It's one of my favorites. And uh, I wish I had it to show you, but I think I've just misplaced mine. But I remember a lot of it by heart because I've drawn it so much because it's so much fun. So I'm going to start here by thinking about what I want to put in my windows and my door. Um, my doorway, I always like to put like he has kind of like a little Frankenstein kind of guy or monster kind of guy. And I'm just going to start with a simple shape like he would, which is basically a big rectangle like he's leaning out over the door. And then I'm going to give him some big eyes right here and then give him kind of a little square nose, and then I'm gonna give him kind of like a mouth with teeth, like that. And then uh, I think I'm gonna give him those kind of like ears. This is more monstery than it is like a, like a Frankenstein, but he's kind, of, he's kind of cute like that. And I'm gonna color him in nice and black, and that's gonna make his eyes and his mouth stand out. And I'm gonna also add an arm to him. And it can be any kind, I'm just gonna do a rectangle, simple rectangle. And um, I'm just gonna do some fingers off of that, like that, just some straight lines. And I've got him kind of like looking out the door, kind of waving. And um, I think I'm gonna do, let's see, some cats in some windows. Black cats are always a good sign. So I think in this window, I'm gonna draw the really big eyes again. This is kind of a signature of, of some of his um, simple cartoons for Halloween. I'm just going to blacken a face around this. You're not even really able to see the other features. Put my little uh, cat ears up there and then a little neck kind of coming up here. And I might make his head a little bit deeper so it doesn't look like there. And then uh, I'm gonna do some whiskers. And I'm gonna also do maybe some little paws, like they're kind of peeking out the window there, which is kind of cute. And let's see, another one I could do, um, I think I might add even another skull in a window. Um, I've got one up here, but I think it'd be kind of fun to do one in another window. Maybe I'll do one down here. So I'm gonna do those big eyes, and then I'm gonna do a big mouth like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of make the top of the skull a little bit bigger. I think of them as looking kind of heart-like on the top of the skull. And then it gets a little more narrow for the chin there. And then maybe I'm just gonna make, and then maybe I've got like an arm coming up here, like a bone, maybe another arm coming up here with the bone, and then maybe just some fingers kind of hanging out there. That's kind of a fun little guy. Um, let's see, another one I could do like a, maybe in this window here, I could do kind of like the silhouette of a, a witch. And let's see, I kind of want to get her hat in. Hmm, is that the best window? I think it is, because it's the biggest one. Um, I think of the witch as having kind of a, um, starting off with a square head. I know that he kind of starts off with a simple square and this is kind of silhouetted and then kind of a chin that comes down kind of like this, little pointy chin for her. And then um, kind of like a hat section here. And then maybe I'm gonna make this kind of come up like that, which is kind of gonna cover this up because unfortunately it's gonna color in here. And then she's gonna have kind of a creepy kind of pointy nose. So right there, like that. That's a pretty good witch's nose. And then I'm just gonna kind of have her have kind of a triangle little body there. If you notice, I took my windowsill out. It looked weird when I started coloring that I had kind of messed up. So I wish I had the windowsill because it would kind of break up the window a little bit, but eh, that's okay. And then I'll just make some scraggly kind of hair, just a few pieces. Because if you color it, it's gonna look like it's all solid black and that's gonna be kind of difficult. Um, let's see, I could also do some spiders. Um, I might do a big spider right here and I might start with some eyes again a couple little dot eyes and then I'm just gonna make a little body like just literally eyes kind of floating like that 
And then that's when you can kind of make some creepy legs. Like this. It can look like he's kind of creeping around like that. Um, let's see, maybe I'm going to do um, a little, I don't know. I've, he always sets an owl out someplace. So I, maybe I'm gonna put a little owl like sitting over here. And again, I'm gonna make a couple of eyes. And I'm going to kind of do the owl's little like smile ears. They kind of come down like this and kind of come around. Oops, made an extra little. There we go. And then kind of give him a little bit of a shape of a body. Color that in like he's kind of silhouetted there. And that's kind of real simple. Like if you want to show his feet, you can kind of do show some uh, his talons. Um, let's see what else. I could do a jack-o'-lantern. So I think I will do like a kind of, you know, shape of a pumpkin here. And then I'm gonna do my, I'm just gonna do eyes and a mouth. And it's gonna be a really simple mouth because I'm getting a little small here. And I'm gonna have to silhouette it. So I'm gonna just color it in black. But you can add color to this. And I probably should have drawn my triangle girls bigger. That's the one thing when you're drawing with a black Sharpie. If I had drawn my shapes bigger, it wouldn't seem so black. Let me illustrate that. I'm gonna do this up here again a little bit better for you. I should have thought about that. So I'm gonna make exaggerated, really big triangles that bump into each other. And then a mouth that's kind of connected to it even. And then all I have to do is just kind of go around here and it's gonna look a little bit more natural because those eyes shrink so much when I color in the silhouette like that. That's how I should have done that one. Oh well, do a little top there. And let's see, I've got a couple more windows. I might do um, maybe a black cat that is peeking out, like he's standing on a table. So maybe I'm gonna do a couple of little eyes like this. And maybe I see just a tiny little bit of his body, maybe a leg. Like he's just kind of peering around the, um, around a tiny little bit. Um, and really you can add anything else if you think of something better. I know he has other stuff that's a little bit more detailed. Um, I'm going to maybe just do another little spider right here. Just go around this guy. It's okay to repeat things. This could be like the spider house or the black cat house. You could kind of do whatever you want. You could have um, a big black spider crawling up here with really extra long legs. Make him really exaggerated. I always like to make spiders with bent legs. They look creepy. That's a huge spider. And it's your drawing, so you can really add anything that you want to it. Um, definitely need some bats. Um, I make bats a little different than Ed Emerly, but I'll show you how he makes his. Does two circles again with the eyes, and then kind of gives them like almost like cat ears. And then kind of goes with another zigzag up like this and then kind of come down and just kind of doing a zigzaggy kind of thing across like that. And then you color it all in. And then he kind of makes what looks like these, just reminds me of like little, almost like little hands, but they do kind of have little gripper hands. So it kind of looks like they're gonna fly around and grab onto something. Um, which is kind of cute. I like that. And uh, the one that I did a long time ago, he kind of put some star stars, even though it's silhouetted, he kind of just did some like little stars in black all around as a little decoration. And that just kind of adds a little something to the sky. So it looks like it feels like it's full of something. You know, if you wanted to, you could draw a moon. Um, like I might even just do kind of like a little crescent moon up here. You could always um, color it in um, with white or yellow. And really you could make these windows kind of glow with a little white or, or something like that. And maybe I'll even like just add a little pattern to my shades. 
every time you add something extra to something, like I said, it just really looks more finished. And maybe I'll make this window have a shade so that I can. And then uh, this, these two windows need a little something, but I'll take some time to figure out what I need to put in there. But I hope you enjoy drawing this and uh, hope you come up with some really silly things to put in there. And I did color in my eyes, so all my basement windows are full of creepy people that I don't have any idea what they look like. Um, but anyway, I hope you have fun. Can't wait to see what you draw.